Andre 3000 praised by Buck Wild for outselling Nas, Lil Wayne, and more with Flute Album. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So on Monday, November 27th, Buck Wild took to Instagram where he showed three stacks some love after his debut solo project raked in over 24,000 in first week album sales, outperforming recent releases from fellow rap greats like Nas and Lil Wayne. Rappers Andre 3000 outsold with his Flute Album 24K. Buck Wild wrote in his post, which listed a dozen artists, that Andre 3000 has eclipsed in terms of first week figures. In addition to Nas's Magic 2, 17,000, and Lil Wayne's The Fix Before the Six, 19,000, the list also included Kodak Black's Pistols and Pearls, 23,000, French Montana's Coke Boy 6, 21,000, and Ice Spice's Like, 15,000, among others. Outselling mainstream rappers with an ambient flute album is such an Andre 3000 thing to do. According to Hits Daily Double, New Blue Sun debuted at number 30 on this week's Billboard 200 after opening with 24,244 album equivalent units. It's important to note, however, that Billboard has yet to confirm these numbers as the chart has yet to be updated in full. Meanwhile, Drake's For All the Dogs returned to number one thanks to its Scary Hours 3 Deluxe Edition, which racked up 145,000 units over the last week. The album previously debuted atop the Billboard 200 last month and is now surpassed 1 million units in the U.S., making it eligible for platinum certification. A couple of weeks ago, Andre 3000 surprised the music world by announcing his debut album with just a few days' notice, then shocked it further by revealing the project was entirely instrumental and based around him playing of the flute. In the press release for the album, Three Stacks divulged why he would not be rapping on the album, which marks his first full-length release since Outkast's Idlewild in 2006. There's this misconception that I just won't do it. I think people feel like I'm sitting around on rap albums or sitting around and I'm just not putting them out in that way. And no, it's not like that, he said. In my mind, I really would like to make a rap album, so maybe that happens one day, but I gotta find a way to say what I want to say in an interesting way that's appealing to me at this age. Despite being met with mixed reviews by fans, the project has received an outpouring of praise from the likes of Questlove, Love, who held it as medicine for the soul, and Pete Rock, who called it amazing. Lupe Fiasco went one step further last week by rapping over the intro song, drawing criticism from Joe Budden in the process. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to set the date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.